All right, guys. Now we move ahead in the same passage and we are on page number 27. Book number 15, Cambridge IELTS Academic, page number 27. Questions 33 to 37. Look at the following statements. Match each statement with the correct explorer. So the names of explorers that is given here. A, B, C, D, E. How many options? Five. And questions are 33 to 37. How many questions? Five questions. So it means you need to match each explorer with the question. Now listen, in this type of questions, uh, passage is not in question order. But the good news is passage is in the order of explorers. First explorer, Peter Fleming. Now go tell me where do they talk about Peter Fleming. Peter Fleming. Very good. <coughs> Third paragraph, they talk about Peter Fleming. Underline that. Next, Ran Finnis. Ran Finnis. Page 25, first paragraph. Ran Finnis. Underline that. So your first job should be to underline. And they are in order. The next name is Chris uh, Bonga. <laughs> Whatever, okay? Same paragraph. Same paragraph, you find the word Chris uh, Bonga. Okay, after that, we've got Robin uh, Hanbury. Tension, wow. <laughs> Same paragraph, you find Robin Hanbury. Tension, okay? Last is Wilfred Tseger. Wilfred Tagibas. Okay? Yeah. Got it? So these names are in order. Now first you're going to read, and what is the question? Question is, match each statement with the correct explorer. Now read the first explorer, Peter Fleming, and then tell me from 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, where does it match? I give you a minute for that. Just read about Peter Fleming. Okay, wait. Otherwise, 150. Oh, pay tak tak nahi karna. Koi tol le aao baron bajane ha. रौनक मेला तो लगे नहर पे वैसे भी खड़े होते हैं ढोल वाले और आज है भी जुमा मेहंदियों के फंक्शन जुमे को ही होते हैं ना ज्यादा कम ऑन पीटर फ्लेमिंग देर दे से पीटर फ्लेमिंग टॉक्स ऑफ द मोमेंट व्हेन द एक्सप्लोर रिटर्न्स टू द Existence he has left behind means family and children with his loved ones, the traveler who has for no, no, no. What is the right answer? Good, well done. He described feelings on coming back home after long journey. When kids say, Papa, Papa, Abuji Age, yeah, <laughs> all right, very good. Okay, guys, now go ahead and read Ran Finnis. Option B, Ran Finnis. Just read the sentence about Ren Finnis. 
So, 37. Okay, what is the option? The question? He defined exploration as being both unique and of value to others. How do you understand? Dubbed the greatest living explorer said, an explorer is someone who has done something that no human has done before and also done something scientifically useful. Okay. He defined exploration as being both unique and of value to others. Why not? You said no. Why not? Hmm? Yes, value to others. He defined exploration as being both unique and value to others. So there they say he dubbed the greatest living explorer said, explorer is someone who has done something that no human has done before. So if you do something no human has done and also done something scientifically useful. So this will go scientifically useful, done something no one has done is unique. Exactly. Okay, that's good. Let's do one more question. Okay, listen up. This is challenging. C is Chris Monga. This is a challenging question I'm telling you. Read it very carefully. And cross the questions which you have done already so that you don't read them again and waste your time. So, what's the right answer? There is no match with this scientist. <laughs> I told you it's going to be quite confusing. Option C, Chris, you said 36. He did not consider learning about oneself an essential part. No. With, with option C, there is no question. It's empty. Huh? I'll tell you about 33 also, don't worry. I'll tell you about that, okay? So, Chris has no answer. Now we move on, option D. Robin Hunbury Tension. Now let's go on. Option D, Robin Hunbury Tension. Read two to three lines about him and then find the answer. Got it? Explorer changes the word and just, just there, is a, there is one line. So which one? 35 actually. Exactly. He worked for the benefit of specific group of people. And what is that group? Very good. Travelers. Good job. Okay, you are doing IELTS reading. And this is section? Section? Three, yeah, we have three sections. Yes, yes, exactly. And, and if one option has no uh, question with it, then it means another option will have two questions. Yes. All right, let's go on. Uh, we did this Robin Hen uh, Henbury tension. Okay, now last one. Wilfred, it means Wilfred will have two answers and, and listen listen if you did first four questions rightly then blindly write e for the remaining two questions 
<laughs> okay and the remaining two questions are 33 and 36 understand yeah but if you do the other questions rightly but anyways please come to this uh, you will find him at two places so uh, same paragraph Wilfred Seeger tell me the reason why 33 and 36 will be the right answers for this Okay, who crossed Arabia's empty quarter in 1946 uh, and belongs to an era of unmechanized travel. So, what op option goes with unmechanized travel? 33. He referred to the relevance of the form of transport used. No. Okay. He did not consider learning about oneself an essential part of exploration let's see if i'd gone across by camel when i could have gone by car i would have been a stunt so for this we talk about the relevance of vehicle and all that then he says to him now focus this to him exploration meant bringing back information from a remote place regardless of any great discovery yes he did not consider learning about oneself an essential part of exploration clear that's it very good